Hey, what's up guys, it's Ben Bonk, and I wanna make a website, but I don't actually know how to make a website. So in this video, I'm gonna have to learn HTML and CSS from scratch and make my first official website. I mean, a few years ago, I made some really basic websites in HTML using the notepad as my text editor, but I forgot pretty much everything and programming in notepad is kind of a nightmare. So for this project, instead I downloaded WebStorm, which would be my IDE. I also needed a way to host this website, so I teamed up with my friends at Hostinger.com to help me bring this website to life. They offered me their premium shared hosting plan for deploying the website, which gives you all this good stuff. The free domain and unlimited bandwidth was especially helpful here and helped me set up my website with ease. They also have this very nice H panel to help manage your website, which I used to deploy in just a few minutes, which was my favorite part. And you can use code BENBONK or click the link in the description for up to 91% off. So thanks to Hostinger for sponsoring this video. Anyways, let's get started. First, I needed a way to actually learn how to make a website. So my friend Nate Dev sent me this tutorial that he used and oh boy, it was almost 12 hours long. So I strapped in and proceeded to get started with this tutorial. After a bit of viewing and a few minutes of programming, I had my first hello world up and running. And I then just proceeded to learn the basics of HTML such as images, links, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Now it was time to move on to the CSS portion of the video. This is a similar process to learning HTML that took a day or two to get a grasp on it, but eventually I was kind of now a CSS god. However, at this time there were still a few hours left in the tutorial, but I just really started to daze out and get bored, so I ditched the tutorial and figured I'd try to start working on my website with the newfound knowledge that I'd gained. First, I wanted to draft out some ideas. I really like simple one-page websites, so I decided to go with that kind of style. I also drafted out the ideas for these specific pages like an about page, projects page, YouTube page, and contact page. And, well, eventually I had a pretty good grasp on what I wanted to do, so I got working. And shortly after, I had some basic styling set up, like this yellow background and text font. This was a nice start, but I wanted a more unique background, so I hopped into Asprite and made this background with these kind of green dividers. After parting this background, here's what it looked like. I also spent way too much time trying to figure out how to get the background and text scaling correctly with screen sizes, which was kind of neat. But by now we had some of the layout set up, but the website still needed some actual substance. So I got to work on creating the actual sections, which has really involved me writing a lot about myself. But now the website was starting to actually look like a website. Next, I want to add some buttons for project links. So I worked on that and I also found this really neat CSS image hover effect that really makes these links stand out. I also thought for the YouTube section, it would be really cool to have an embed of my latest YouTube video. So I wrote this amazing JavaScript code all by myself now there is this embed pop-up in the YouTube section, which would update to show my latest video, which is pretty neat. I then worked on this contact page, which had these custom green and yellow icons to match the website theme. You can also hover over these buttons and click on them for all your contact needs. With that done, I moved on to creating a navigation bar. My plan was for this to be a simple bar at the top of the website where the user could easily navigate to specific sections of the website by pressing links. And with the help of W3 Schools, I eventually got a basic nav bar in place with all these different links. And I also added in this little Benbonk slime gif. But anyways, the cool thing is you can click these links and the website will smoothly scroll down to that section. Though admittedly, the scrolling destination was a bit off, but that was later fixed. And well, by this point, the core website was pretty much done. Yes, the padding was a bit off and there definitely needed to be some more polish, but this was a great start. So I then fixed up some of these spacing issues and now I could get to polishing. The first element of polish I worked on was animations. Right now, the website elements were kind of plain just like my comedic skills, so I wanted to fix that. Nate Dev recommended this really neat CSS animation library called AOS, which makes it really easy to add scrolling animations to your website. So I set this up and started adding some basic animations, and quickly after, the website was looking 10 times better in my opinion, and I really liked all these animations. Another thing the website needed was mobile scaling. Thankfully, CSS has these cool little things called media queries, which allow you to change your CSS when certain triggers happen. Like, for example, when the screen width is below a certain pixel count. So I used these queries to kind of rebuild the website for mobile platforms, which was pretty neat. And finally, I added shadows to the text and images, which I thought made everything pop from the screen and really stand out. Now, the website was pretty much done, so I tried to upload to hosting. Thankfully, this was actually pretty easy. All I had to do was navigate to the file manager, open a few folders, drag in my website files, and we were good to go. Or you can always just import your website here. But unfortunately, that's where things started to go a bit south. For some reason, my website wouldn't update after making some updates, causing some really weird issues. After hours of searching, I concluded that this probably had to do something with the browser cache, which was a bit of a pain. I tried some things, but mostly to no avail. Though eventually, I just let things rest, and it seemed to fix the issue. But anyways, I spent most of my last few days working on the website just testing and trying to fix some small issues. Though I actually did make a pretty big change by completely reworking the website background and element spacing. 
I got a lot of feedback that there was too much dead space, so that's why. And I did think that this was a pretty good change for the website. I also had to unfortunately remove the YouTube embed because it was causing some issues. But with that done, that was pretty much the end of development. And if you want to check out the website, head over to benbonk.com and make sure to check out Hostinger while you're at it. Link in the description. Also, let me know if you run into any issues with the website and what you thought of this video editing as I tried some new things. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.